is, is this side logging in? No, oh, am I logging in that side? I'm kind of that side, okay? Alright, so uh, we start up a little bit. It's 7 o'clock. It's so good to see how long we're here. So, uh, let's go around the world now, so everybody come to the scene. These guys may be on this way. Right. And that's all the way up the ending of Kalini Valley. So she didn't need to do because we're in the Akupa of Kalini. So she's going to do the opening only. Okay, and then after that, um, the the we'll get to over there. They won't mind. We'll pull it. And then we're going to set precedence for serving serving the panelists with the Akupa of Kalini. Okay? And then I'm Joshua. Joshua! Where's Josh? Joshua, tell him my mom here in Palala. I'm trying to correct my So, um, as long as everybody's in love this evening, yeah?
Kalau lah woi, don't fast pull it for me lah. So open your eyes up. Eke aku a, eke aku a.
press top because top only has four. So go to Aha Law on Facebook and it'll say where to go. Because we have, I made that long post with all of them. And so it's hashtag what? Uh, Joshua Yohan Nonga here from the Ahaloha Aina presenting our community forum on the future of the Hawaiian nation. Ahaloha Aina and our core organizers as well as our coalition. Mahalo all of our people out there who are tuning in on our live stream. We hope and we mahalo uh, well almost 200 people I believe that have uh, attended here. Uh, we have about 150 um, that have come here to learn more about the future of the Hawaiian nation. Ahaloha Aina is a coalition that we've met. Um, we've had over 30 community meetings on the islands of Oahu, Maui, Hawaii Island, um, Lanai, Molokai, Kauai, as well as on Mokuhonu in cities like Salt Lake City, San Diego, Los Angeles, Seattle, Washington, D.C., as well as in New York. Over 3,000 people have participated in Ahaloha Aina, have worked in our independent model of our kino, which is completely independent of the control of the state of Hawaii. That's probably the most important part is that we exercise true self-determination when we work it from the ground up, not from the top down like the settler state is giving us with Act 195, Kanai Olovalu, as well as this Nayao Puni Aha. Okay, we're here to dispel three myths. First, we're going to kill this myth once and forever, that Hawaiian kingdom men and independence men are violent, abusers. We're going to get that out of the myth right now. Independence and Hawaiian kingdom men are fathers, we're sons, we're loving nurturers and uh, caretakers of our family. Violence is far from from our independence is our true goal. The second myth that we're going to kill today, okay, is that we are stupid, we're uneducated, and we're ignorant. Those that work for independence are doctors, lawyers, community organizers, social workers, artists, graphic designers. Many of us are committed our entire life to the lifelong pursuit of the independence of the Hawaiian people, of the Hawaiian nation, okay, of the restoration of the Hawaiian kingdom. That's what we work toward. And third, the third myth that we're going to kill forever is that we can't, as Lahui Kanaka, with differing opinions, sit in a room and have differing opinions without getting violent. There is this myth that probably the settler state created that Kanaka, they, all they do is grumble and fight amongst each other, that they cannot sit and collectively disagree and be okay disagreeing with each other's opinion and do it with civility. And today, and all aloha aina, aha aloha aina it kills those myths and we're going to kill that once and forever, okay? So I want you guys to know and mahalo all of those people in the live feed and all the people here in attendance that they're really in for a treat, that the people that have committed to and contributed to this meetings have worked hard to put it all together. Yes, I'm speaking, I'm the front person, but I want you to understand people that there are many people, just like Lahela behind this camera right now, there are people who have made the mea ai in Waiana and Papakaleo. And we're committed to bringing you truth, justice, and the independence of the Hawaiian people. Aloha. This event is being live streamed um, through several people. You want to know how to find that. So you would hashtag on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. You would hashtag AAA Forum 2016, and um, you would push latest. And you will be able to see the most recent questions that have been submitted, as well as the people that are live streaming. Also, if you're here tonight at the event, please come did not get one already, come get a, a card, an index card, and write down any question that you have. Mahalo. Once again, that's hashtag AAA Forum 2016. Hashtag AAA Forum 2016. Mahalo. Thanks, Mahalo. I'm like, where do you want me to move? Do you want me to move? <laughs> Okay, good.
Hello, Aina. Hey, come on, my. Are we live stream now? The whole time. The whole time? I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> well, thank you for everybody for coming and joining us there. Uh, we are here on the forum for Aha Aloha Aina Presents, uh, the future of the Hawaiian nation. And I think one of the things that we really need to do um, is really be frank about how everybody's feeling after the election. Now, I know a lot of independent people are pretty clear that the United States has never really done justice by First Nations and certainly by Nakanaka Maoli. They've never really provided us justice. And I think that it really is clear from Standing Rock uh, that they really are currently not interested in redirecting their course. They're going to continue down the pathway of racism, division, bigotry, and fossil fuel, complete destruction and exploitation and extraction. So what we need to do is really emphasize that independence and it's unnecessary. By January, June, March, September, it's unnecessary to achieve by any deadline. Uh, my question has to deal with the recognition uh, process here. I'm curious, uh, Rob and Al, uh, you reiterated that recognition can still proceed forward. Why do you go for international claims and go for uh, domestic claims in the United States? Uh, I limit my scope of uh, question to page 47 of the DOI rule. It explicitly states that this recognition that will be provided to the Native Hawaiian people is not the same that their ancestors enjoyed via the Kingdom of Hawaii, which is a nation to nation status. Now, the other questions that were asked was has any federally recognized tribe or non tribe that has have they ever achieved nation status? Because the thing about people are trying to understand here is that we somehow go down this route, what will be the process in which if we take a DUI ruling and its status, will be that. But I also think I also ask the further circle to that question is that what if both happens? And I'm just gonna take a through out here. What if Henry Law and Green State Point government goes out and they come back, you know, a couple weeks and they've got five, six countries, full blown recognition of the reinstatement of the kingdom. And what happens if your folks come out and you guys entertain a, a DOI ruling and decide by that? So no, no. What happens then? You're going to have two processes standing over here. What, 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 what is that? That would be so awesome. That would be so more. No, it wouldn't. Okay, but the question. Exactly. The DOI rule on page 42 say this process, everything about it, has nothing to do, has no impact on the international arena. We made our point. The DOI said itself that this rate of the part 50 has no impact whatsoever on the international arena. They're saying that the recognition that you will see is not talking about things, talking about the status of the political status. We won't have kingdom status. Correct. Correct. That's my point. That's what it's saying. It's agreed. So, what are the points that I've seen? It's a good point. Okay, Google. If that's what happens, we're going to be the lucky people out here. I don't know what we're going to have to say. We're going to have to give up. We're going to have to give up. I think you have to basically sit down, okay? Where does the land go? Who decides where the land goes? And they're going to make this decision. They're already negotiating. The whole point of it is that this group of people are going to negotiate issues. Who gets to control that? And the question that really comes is not just land. Who gets to control these programs? And that's really the, the, the question immediately. Is they are making a bid to control these programs coming in as cool. And one, if they're protected, the right person by a condom, the de definition of who gets protected be first, you're talking about Alamite, you're talking about Ola, you're talking about the community of the Latin Children's Center, you're talking about community of school, they are going to be determining who gets control over those. And I have to ask, and I have to ask you guys, did you guys ask permission from all those people that you're going to negotiate on behalf of everybody in your land? Who appoints the Commander of Schools Trustees right now? 
page as well as what I kind of call the after hours but it is time to go I am exhausted so I will see you guys later we'll break this down for you check us back out again at Aole DOI Testimonials um, Facebook page as well as Ahalo Aina um, and definitely check out the forum and the Envet notes and we'll see you guys later Aloha I think anytime there's an opportunity to talk and to share manao, that's a positive thing. Uh, I think to, for the, both sides to be here and have an opportunity to share was, was a, 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 I think a stepping stone, a milestone in our development as far as communications is concerned. And I think overall it was very civil and it was very amicable you know, in general. I think um, you know, we can work on, on logistical little things like that, but overall I think to have these opportunities to kuka, kuka, and share our manao is essential if we're going to come together. Aloha Lahui Hawaii, this is Helen Sonora Pale, coming from, uh, to you live from <coughs> the uh, Aloha Aina forum that we had tonight. It was a, it was a very educational event. <coughs> it was getting heated for a little while there. Um, tensions were very high tonight, but I felt that we came out as a Lahui stronger and more focused on what it is that we're fighting for. Um, we are fighting for our nation. We're fighting for our people and we're fighting for our land. So we have to hold on more. Aloha hui ho. Malama pono la hui. Oh my goodness, I feel like my mind's gone through like a little bit of a washing machine right now, but those are awesome questions. I think one of the challenging things is our, our people, I feel so deeply and so have so much emotion about what's happening that we have to spend the time to honor that. And it takes a lot of courage for people to come out and just really just make ourselves vulnerable to the concerns of our community. And that is something that, however, it's hard to do. And it's not the easiest thing to do, but we need to do it because we need to honor each other 
other. We have to honor each other's lail. We actually have to start listening better, not just speaking over people. We have to learn. These are protocols that we're learning how to do on a daily basis. This is how we actually start revitalizing our nation because we need to start being able to say, okay, your turn, my turn. Let's honor this lail. Let's actually listen to the question and then answer it as best we can with respect and aloha. But thank you so much, everybody, for coming out and for joining us. We really appreciate all of you guys. Kako'o and Kukia Iaina. Aloha Aina. I thought that tonight was a very good evening. Uh, it was a very frank discussion. I think that those supporting federal recognition got caught uh, several times in making misrepresentations. But I also thought it was a very good discussion because those who came had very pertinent questions. Questions about land, questions about rights, education and housing that weren't being addressed by the federal recognition effort and rule. I also think another thing that was very clear was that the purpose of the federal recognition rule is to build a nation to get programs and monies from the Congress and not to provide the Hawaiian people with their lands or their right of self-determination. For that reason alone, it was, it was very important to clarify that because the Hawaiians in this room left knowing what the truth was and I think being much more informed. All right, well, I'll <laughs> Aloha. So, um, I just wanted to ask you really quick, you were helping out with everything and anything. Um, what do you feel about what you witnessed tonight? Well, tonight, um, I witnessed unity tonight. There are a lot of people that came together, unified to make sure that Hawaiians were informed. And so to me, that's the number one thing that's most important. Um, we stood together tonight. Um, I think even though I'm somebody that might be pro Kingdom of Hawaii, pro independence, I think the people that came on the panel to educate everybody on Fed Rec, and the number one thing is that we were unified and we came together to give Kanaka the information that they've been requesting, that they've been wanting. So hopefully there'll be more things like this so that we can come together and give different communities the information that they need. Mm -hmm. All right, well, thank you very much, Mahalo. and we'll hopefully see you next time. Definitely, and thank you, Lahela, for everything you're doing. You work so hard. Mahalo.